Good morning, everyone. So we are starting this vlog off exactly where my last one ended, and I'm currently getting ready to go to the airport for airport standby. And what that means is instead of being home on call for 12 hour shifts, I am at the airport on call for six hours. I think my coffee is done now, and then to meal prep, I'm actually gonna make this P.F. Chang's beef and broccoli, and then I also have rice cooking in here. So I'm going to cook my food and then continue getting ready for work, and I have just over an hour before I need to leave for the airport. This is done now, it looks really good. I have the brown rice, beef, and broccoli ready to go. So if I do get called for a trip, then I have dinner for two nights. Hi Luna, good morning. I'm about to start doing my makeup for work and I'm super excited because Allie sent me these beautiful brushes. Allie is another YouTuber and also a good friend of mine. And what I loved about this brush set is that it came in the perfect travel carrier. These are the three brushes. So thank you, Allie, so much for sending these to me. I'm so excited to use them. I think I have everything packed up and ready to go. So let's head to the airport and we'll just have to wait and see if I get called for a trip. More than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my I just signed in for my standby and look who is just now <laughs> finishing her standby. Her. <laughs> she, she's been here since five in the morning and I will actually be here until five PM tonight. I ain't a person who understands all the clockwork. Right now I'm about to head over to the D terminal where I'm going to set my standby from 11:24 a.m. to 5:24 p.m. So if I do not get called for a trip, then I'm able to go home and until then I'm probably just going to do my continued qualification online training. Maybe I'll read a book and just hang out, but I will let you all know if I get called for any trips. So, as you all can tell, I clearly did not get called for a trip. It's 5.30 p.m. now, so I'm going to get ready to go home. I was actually given airport standby again tomorrow at 11.16 or 11.10 a.m., something like that. So we're just gonna come right back here and do the same thing tomorrow. It is really hot, so let me turn on some air, turn my car on. As I was leaving the airport today, there was a stranger who stopped me and asked if I had ever seen the airport like this before. And I told him that a while ago, I've actually actually seen it emptier and that lately it's been pretty full and we're starting to get some of our travelers back and he just looked at me and said thank you for being an essential worker and for coming to work and you know doing what you do I just broke into tears like in the middle of the terminal when he said that he is the first person to tell me in person thank you for being an essential worker and working through this pandemic I think emotionally and just in life, we're all kind of going through our own crap right now. This has been just a crazy, crazy, crazy year with everything that's happened. And I have a lot going on in my personal life right now too. And so it was just like, I don't know, I guess just hearing like, thank you, just like made me feel super emotional and just made me feel really appreciated. I need to calm down a little bit before I drive home. But if you are an essential worker out there, thank you from the bottom of my heart like our society would not run without essential workers i hope that you all feel really appreciated for the work that you're doing right now i'm going to head home and i will talk to you guys later hi luna hi baby straight for the frisbee as usual home now from the airport and i'm sorry you can probably hear luna panting in the background we just got done playing with her outside and now eric and i are going to make some oatmeal cookies we have all the ingredients out we have the oats right here eggs we're using kodiak cakes to make the batter we have butter and vanilla extract we have the brand new mixer from my mama that she sent eric and i for our birthdays in july we have some chocolate chips and brown sugar
I think Luna wants some cookies. The cookies are ready to go in the oven, so you bake them at 350 for nine to 11 minutes. try our cookies now. Eric put a little dent in this one and I think it turned out the best. And so? Yeah. Right. Thank you. What do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's good. Chocolate chips are really good. Mm -hmm. It's not as like oaty as like the very first batch mm -hmm. that we ever made. I like yeah, it's not oaty at all. I like them a little bit more chunky. Chunky. <laughs> we can like actually taste the oats in it, but these are still really good. Luna, I wish we could give you one, but we can't because it has chocolate in it. I'm like already full after <sighs> one. You need half a cookie? Oh yeah, I don't even need a full one yet. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I am about ready to head out the door. We are doing the same thing today that we did yesterday. I am sitting airport standby from 11.21 a.m. until 5.21 p.m. tonight. We will just have to wait and see if I get called for a trip today or not. I'm back in Dallas now. It is 10, 17 p.m. It was a pretty long day today. As you can tell, I did get called off of my airport standby shift to go work a few flights. What I did today is I worked one flight from Dallas to Phoenix, and then we had to switch gates, and we were at that airport, I think, for about an hour and a half, and then we flew back from Phoenix to Dallas. Now I am ready to head home, but Eric did text me, and he said that our air conditioning broke. I'm really hoping that when I get home, it's not gonna be too hot, but we'll just have to wait and see. Luna's trying to tell us that it's hot too. Oh, hello! <laughs> I just got home and the thermostat is set to 72 degrees, but it is actually 80 degrees in here. We're definitely going to have to get that looked at. Hopefully it's not going to get too hot tonight, but I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Miss Luna here got a brand new bed right by our window because she always likes to sit here and look out the window. It's midday now. We did call someone this morning to see if they can come over here today to fix our air conditioning unit and we're on the list to be seen today. So hopefully they can make it out here because it is hot. Thank goodness our air conditioning has now been fixed. I'm just glad that we didn't have to get an entire new unit because that would have been ridiculously expensive. We just had to do some repairs and everything is fixed. That's good. And I actually did just get called for a trip tomorrow. It's a day trip. And for dinner tonight, Eric's going to make us some chicken quesadillas. Good morning, everyone. We have Miss Luna here in the bathroom hanging out with me while I get ready for work. If you're new to my channel, then one thing you should know is that I collect magnets. I love having my magnets. It's such a fun reminder of all of the awesome places that I've been to, and I just think they're all really cute. For lunch today, I am bringing this Santa Fe style salad and peanut butter chocolate chip granola bar. Good morning, everyone. It is 6.35 a.m., so I have 20 minutes before I need to leave for the airport. Today is another day trip. We are flying from Dallas to Bozeman, Montana and then from Bozeman right back to Dallas. I'm just chilling on the couch with Luna for a minute. I need to take her out. I'm gonna put on Eric's slides real quick to take Luna out. Definitely big on my feet. Are you scared of the plant? Plants are scary. Come on. Got me twisted. It is 6.54, so we are right on time to head out the door. Since this is just a day trip, as I mentioned a few videos ago, I am only bringing a backpack. However, I do always bring at least a toothbrush and some pajamas with me, just in case if I were to ever get stuck anywhere. So I will see you all when I get to the airport.
I just got to the airport. I have plenty of time before my sign-in. I think this is really fun. You guys have gotten to come to the airport with me a few times this week. Today was my last day on reserve, so I have the turn today, and then I have the next two days off after this. Reserve this month, as you all can tell, has actually been pretty busy. I've been called for quite a few trips, so that's great. But with all of that said, let's head into the airport, sign in for my trip, and then go on our little Montana turn. Give mama kisses. Hi baby, I missed you. I actually got home from my trip the day before yesterday, but I didn't film anything for this specific vlog yesterday because I did a live stream and then I also filmed a life update where I talked about my flight attendant future and everything going on in the aviation industry right now. And I really just wanted to take a minute here to say thank you to all of you for your continued support. After uploading that video, I received such an outpour of love from all of you. So many kind messages and kind comments and honestly, I am just blown away. I can't believe that there are really that many people around the globe that genuinely care about me and I just feel incredibly fortunate and I really don't know how I can possibly thank you all enough from the bottom of my heart for being with me through all of this and genuinely just being such awesome people and reaching out to me to make sure that I'm okay. The comments on that video were coming in so fast. I'm really sorry if I didn't reply to you individually. Just know that I really have read every single comment and I appreciate every single one of you who takes time out of your busy life and your busy schedules to sit down and watch the content that I make and engage with it and I just feel so humbled and so grateful and so lucky to have such an awesome online community and I know that the road ahead may not be perfect we're going to experience some turbulence as you could say and some windy roads but that happens in life sometimes sometimes things just happen that are completely out of your control and the only thing we can do is control our attitudes about it and the way that we approach the situation head-on. I don't really know what else to say other than thank you. With all of that said, I'm going to conclude this vlog here. I really hope that all of you are staying healthy and safe wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to see you all next time. Bye!